Number 40. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to balance CuS solid plus NO3 minus, which yields copper 2 plus, plus the sulfur plus NO. And we have to do this all in an acidic solution. So I gave you all of the steps of how to balance a redox reaction in acidic solution. So all you got to do is just follow the steps. We're going to do it together. I got you guys. But just know that, you know, these are like set in stone. They can't be messed up. So you have to do step one, step two in the order. It's the easiest way. All right, guys. So let's, let's get down to business. The first thing that we got to do is we have to break this whole reaction into half reactions. So I have a whole reaction here. I need to break it down into two half reactions. So just link up the, I, um, I'll say link up the elements that go together. So for example, I have an L, uh, have a compound that has copper and sulfur here, right? Link up the compounds or the elements or the ions on the right hand side that have the same elements. So I know that this is going to have to be the same reaction because that's the copper. And this has to be in the same reaction as well, because it's the sulfur component. Now, for the other one, I have nitrogen and oxygens. So these will link up, right? And these will link up. Those are my two half reactions. So I have this guy actually yielding this and this. And then I have the greens linking up. So let's write these half reactions. We have CuS, which is a solid, which yields, uh, we got Cu2+, plus, and that's aqueous, plus S, and that's a solid. My second half reaction would be NO3- minus aqueous, yields, uh, we have NO, gas. Okay. First part done. Next, now we have to balance all of the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. So I don't even look at I uh, I don't even look at oxygen and I don't even look at hydrogen at this point. I'm only looking for all the other elements. So there's three here. We have copper. We have sulfur. Copper, sulfur, nitrogen, and nitrogen. We have to balance those. So let's give it a shot. I have one copper on the left side. I have one copper on the right side. So that's balanced. I got one sulfur. I got one sulfur. So that's balanced. I got one nitrogen. I got one nitrogen. So that's balanced. So this step was already balanced for us. We just can skip over it. The next thing we have to do is we have to balance oxygen by adding H2O. Now, quick trick, if you need to add one oxygen to any side, you will add it as one H2O. So if you need to add two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. I don't see any oxygen in the first half reaction, so I don't even have to do this part. But there are oxygens down here. There's an oxygen on the left and on the right. Now on the left, I have three oxygens, right? And on the right side, I only have one. So how many more would I need? I need two more. So if I need to add two oxygens, I'll add it as two H2Os. And that's what's going on the product side for the second one. And now this is all done. Moving on, we need to balance hydrogen now by adding H+. So same type of idea. If you need to add one hydrogen on either side, you will add one H plus. Ooh, there you go. And don't forget the plus charge, guys, right? So let's see. I have no hydrogen on the left or the right side for this one, so that's fine with me. I don't have to do anything. But on this one, I do have hydrogen right here. I have two hydrogen but it's being multiplied by two. 
So how many total hydrogen do I have? Yeah, I have a total of four hydrogen on this side and none on this. So I need to add four. So I'm gonna add four H plus. Okay, so that gets rid of this one. Now we have to balance the charges. And we balance the charges by always adding electrons and electrons are E negative. We can always, we can always and only add electrons to the more positive side. So I got to figure out for each half reaction, which side is more positive. So that's where I like to make a little break just to make sure that I'm looking at only this side and this side. Let's get those charges. Look in the upper right hand corner. Well, for this compound, I don't see anything, right? You see how here's a charge and here's a charge and here's a charge. But for some of them, there are no charges. Anytime that you don't see a charge, it's neutral. It's a charge of zero. So anything times zero is zero, right? So the overall charge for this would be zero on this side. Now on this side, I do have a charge here, right? And I only have one of these. So two times a one is a plus two. And now, just like we said before, since I don't see anything in the upper right hand corner, that would be a zero charge. So this is a zero. But now you add those two together. Plus two plus zero is a plus two. Okay. Now you say, okay, which side is more positive? The zero or the plus two? Two is more positive than zero. So I know that I have to add my electrons on the more positive side, which is the right side here. But how many electrons? Well, you add as many so that you go down to the other number. How many numbers away is two from zero, right? Two numbers. So that's how many electrons I'll add. That part is done. Now we have to do the same thing for the bottom. So I see that I have a plus, right? And that's a plus one, but I have four of them. So four times a plus one is an overall plus four here. For your nitrate, NO3 minus, it's a minus one. There was only one here. So that's a minus one. And you need to add the two. Four plus a negative one or four minus one is a plus three overall charge for this side. And now for both of these, there was no charge in the upper right hand corner. So zero and zero. And zero plus zero is two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> zero plus zero is zero. Okay. So now which side is more positive, right? It's this side. So I know that I have to add my electrons on this side. How many? Well, how many numbers or how many jumps do I go from a three all the way down to a zero? Three. So there you go. And now before we do the next step, I'm just going to clean it up. So I'm going to get rid of all my math. We don't need it anymore. That was just for the electron purposes. Okay. And then let me just do the top one real quick. Ooh. Okay. Okie dokie. Perfect. That looks much better. We'll strip these away too. Now, the next step is we have to actually balance those electrons. We balance the electrons by multiplying the whole equation. At this stage of the game, we have three electrons and we have two electrons. We need to get these to be the same number by multiplication. What's the lowest number that these have in common between a three and a six? Yeah, a, a six. Sorry, I just gave you the answer. A three and a two. This, the number that they have in common is a six, right? I could do three times two would get me six, and then two times three would get me six. So I know that for the top equation, I have to multiply everything by three. And for the bottom equation, I have to multiply everything by two. Now, what you're basically doing is 
you have to do it for everyone. You have to be fair. So all of the coefficients for every single compound, compound, I, um, element, ion, all of the coefficients are going to be changed. Okay, so you just got to be fair. Let's start from left to right. There was one CUS, but now it's being multiplied by three. So now I have three CUSs. I had one Cu2+, plus, but that's being multiplied by three. So now I have three Cu2+. Plus. Same thing for the S. I had one of these, but one times three is three. And now I had two electrons. That's being multiplied by three. So now I have a total of six electrons. And this part is done. I can get rid of this times three. Now we got to do the same thing for the bottom, but instead of multiplying by three, I need to multiply by two. So I'll work from left to right. Three electrons times two. I now have six electrons. That was the whole purpose of doing this to get those to be the same. I had four hydrogens, but four times two is now eight. So I'm gonna change that four into an eight. I had one nitrate, but one times two is two. And maybe if I can just, whoop, perfect. I had one NO, but one times two is two. And I had two H2Os, but two times two is four. And now I can strip this away. Okay, that was this step. Now we cancel like substances out on opposite sides. So you're simplifying. So that was the whole point of doing this, to get them to be the same, to get those electrons to be the same, so that you can cancel them out. Goodbye and goodbye. But now is there anything else that I can cancel? Eh, not really, right? I have water on this side, but I have no water on my left side or anything else. So that's the end for this. And now finally, all we have to do is just rewrite as one equation. So everything on the left has to stay on the left and everything on the right has to stay on the right. Doesn't matter what order you put them in. Uh, they just have to stay on the left and the right. So I'll just, I'll just start with, maybe I'll start with the eight H plus, and then maybe I'll go to the top just to show you that it doesn't really matter. And then the two NO3 minus yields, we'll do the top three Cu2 plus plus three S so uh, solid plus two NO gas. And then finally the four H2O, sorry that I couldn't fit it, but maybe, maybe if you bear with me and if I just can just doop, do I have it? Well, do I? There, yes I do. And there you go. That is the full blown answer. Okay, guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna subscribe to the channel, that would help us out. Um, I'm not begging you or anything, but it would be really cool. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been awesome. And good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'll see you in the next, uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Yeah. Okay. Bye.